Hello, good people. Your boy Honest Blade. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what part of the world you're in. Maybe even Monday, but it's Tuesday for me in New York. So, anyways, I almost dropped my brisket. I would have been so pissed. I went to Popeyes again. Just got the honey barbecue chicken, macaroni, and Sprite. I just got done helping uh, a friend around here. I kind of dislike using that word friend as late because. I might touch on it. Give me a second to take a bite at this, though. So today, I'm not gonna keep you guys for too long. I just wanna get a couple things over my chest, but before I get started, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and hopefully subscribe. So, I'm gonna talk about Evil Japan first and foremost. Evil Japan was just a hot mess. Like, it was so disorganized. And I hate that it was so hard to find, like, proper streaming schedules and just to watch matches. Like, I felt it was really sloppy until towards the end. Towards the end, it got stringed out nicely, but it was, like, overall sloppy. That's... Of course, that's my opinion. If you enjoy Evil Japan, God bless. So first and foremost, the trailer for Marco Rodriguez for Fatal Fury City of the Wolves was the best thing I've seen this week. He looks awesome. Eski did such a great job with his model. In my opinion, honestly, I think Marco's good to go, but if the game is still being built up, so there's obviously more polishing all the way, but Marco Rodriguez looks fantastic. I think he's the best looking, um, Played a fury carry in the game so far, in my opinion. And none of them look bad, but Marco just looks so much better compared to everybody else. And I do love um, T-Zock's um, Secret Super. I saw that one. I wanted to see Preachers, but I only saw T-Zock and Terry. It's absolutely amazing. SK knocked that one out the park too, but SK normally makes very creative supers. But now I'm gonna get on SK a little bit, but at the end of the day, um, I stopped being mad about it like a whole day later. Unfortunately, there's no King of Fighters 15 Season 3, which is heartbreaking because my thing is this. I'm not saying SK got to copy other companies, but it does suck when SK seems to be behind other developers because you want to see, I, as a fan of them, I want to see them do well. Uh, excuse me. But, so I'm like really like, blown away that there's no season 3 for King of Fighters 15, whereas Guilty Gear Strive, which is an older game, just rebuilt a final character for season 3, which is Slayer. Slayer looks nice, but I don't care about Guilty Gear like that. But he does look nice. Um, they rebuilt a final character for season 3, and then getting season 4 started. And mind you, I think Strive is older than King of Fighters 15. King of Fighters 15, on the other hand, only gets two seasons. And while I do like Hinako, I find it weird to end your game on Hinako Shijo. I refuse to let my photo get too cool. I had to eat, so let me finish my thoughts now. So, with King Rise um, 15 Season 3 not getting me, Season 3 is no Season 3, but King Rise 15 not getting a Season 3 kind of blows my mind. But at the end of the day, SK feels it's much more smart to focus on building up Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. That's fine. Would I like, like to see Zarina or any match with Impact characters? Of course. Do I even think they could even make a playable version of Otama Waga? in reverse or sure but if SK decides they don't want to do season 3 no more they mean they don't want to do a season 3 my thoughts are kind of discombobulated because everything's happy around me but that's my fault for recording outside because I do not own the outside and everybody can be around here
So anyways, SK decided they didn't want to do a season three. Well, disappointing. I accept it. I don't think it's a small call, but I accept it. I still love the company. I'm not gonna be like, oh, SK, you're trash for not doing a season three. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, 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 no. It is what it is. Also, nothing I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about Lydia Sobieska. Lydia getting rebuilt was dope. I actually think it's a good, smart move to have Lydia back. And I can't wait to see how she's going to play, especially because this Raina took a lot of her stuff. But I'm very excited for Lydia. But people on, on the internet, not everybody, obviously. But there's people bitching and moaning about Lydia Sobieska. Like, oh, who wanted Lydia? Who wanted Lydia? Obviously, you did not. But a lot of people wanted Lydia. So let's cut the crap. Yes, it sucks enough to be your favorite character, but let's not act like Lydia is not a well-received Tekken character. Do I think she's your main base roster? Of course. But at the end of the day, she's coming. And I love the fact that, you know, that we're getting an extended story mode for Tekken 8 as well. I'm definitely looking forward to Eddie Gordo and Nina's interactions. Uh, excuse me, based on the previews we've seen. I'm definitely looking forward to that. But overall, second um, eight seems to be in a very good state. I'll see balance patches, nerfs that happen. I know we're dragging up. Azvina and Fink got the hardest of nerfs. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But I'm really am disappointed that there's no season three for King of Fighters 15. But, but at the same time, prefers to focus on Fate of Fury City of the Wolves, that's okay. Next thing I want to talk about real quick, before I end this vlog, it's like friends, that's what I'm going to touch on. Now for no one to get my words twisted, and I'm going to try to say this the most properly possible, I have no animosity against anyone currently. Um, I don't have like no bitterness just no one in general and I do appreciate the kind of people in my life but I, there are days where I wish I didn't have like friends because you know over the years I try, sometimes friends could be kind of a burden like and not because oh they're bad people it's just when I say a burden you got to consider them sometimes and reality as I get older I get cool with my own company because I learned the beauty of being on the internet I discovered that a lot of people are very selfish, narcissistic, and are users. And you cannot be friendly to everybody that you encounter. Because if you do, that's gonna set you up for something bad happen to you. And I'm not saying that, oh, it's okay to be a bitch. No. You know, I admit I can be really bitchy when I need to be, or if I want to be, but if you let your guard down without a one person, that could literally ruin your life. And honestly, I'm not talking about no friends of mine in particular, nobody, but I hate that when people try to get close, like, hi, what's up? Like, I'll get someone to DM me on Instagram. Now, mind you, I'm not Beyonce, so for the most part, I would follow just about anyone back who follows me, and it's just who I am. But just because I followed you, doesn't mean that, oh shit, I wanna have a conversation with you. It just means I gave you back a follow because I'm not conceited or well, you know what, I feel like, hey, you follow me, I follow you. Like, honestly, I don't get the whole idea of trying to meet new people like that. And I find it really annoying. I kind of just beat up on this shit time. But hey, it is what it is.
so fucking good. I love this selfie stick so much. Bet you I figure out how to use it properly. Ain't 10 times better. So overall, that's my thoughts on like, King of Fighters 15 not getting a season three. Discussion, you know, be careful who you call friends. And like I said, I do apologize for the noise, but at the same time, like I don't own outside and people are allowed to enjoy this stuff. No one's bothering me. Ava was just doing their own thing. So, I do apologize for the background noise, but at the same time, I'm not upset with people living their lives. So Aaron's gonna head on home now. I'm kinda done talking. Also gotta pick me up like a box pan because I bought this fucking fan yesterday. And unfortunately, this stupid fan is one of those things you gotta charge it. So once it like, doesn't charge no more, it just turns off and it's like, and it's not even that windy, like the, the propeller. Whatever you call the thing inside the box. Don't even be working that all that fucking well. I'm like, I'm butt ass naked in my bed. And I'm like, oh, damn, I'm still hot. I'm still hot. Like, oh, I'm not doing this all summer. I'm not. So, because my older fan, that fan last me for a while, that fan finally broke down. That fan now doesn't work the way it used to, so I'm gonna toss it. So, before I head home, home, I had to get me like a new fan. Uh, what else? And that's probably gonna just chill for the day because Tekken 8 is still getting an update and so it's really no point in playing Tekken 8 right now. I might play next month later because next month has been fun as hell. But outside of that, I think I'm just gonna chill and enjoy the rest of my day. Anyways, that's your boy Honest Blade. I just wanna share my thoughts on King of Fighters 15, not getting in season three real quick. And let's talk about other random shit. And for those of you who might think, oh, he just recorded to watch us him eat. That wasn't the reason. I was hoping. I don't know why I eat. I should eat first and do my vlogs from now on. But I didn't get, get no lunch today at work. Because I kind of hate the food around my job. Though, like My second job be having like really, really good food. While well, my first job. The food be kind of ass, like, you know, not like the nasty, don't get me more, not nasty. But it's like the same things pretty much for me. Well, my other job, the food over there is like better variety. And plus we're getting like a Panda Express over there soon. And the Panda Express actually supposed to open up tomorrow. So I might try Panda Express on Friday when I go to my other job. But is there anything else I want to talk to you guys heads off about or am I pretty much done? Mmm, mmm. I'm done. Love you guys. Please take care. Honest Blade out. Ciao.